have conversations on YouTube and they talk about boxing, right? So it's like all boxing talk, who gonna beat who, all of that. So you've been following it. And then he said one time he's watching it, a few days ago, it pops up, Jay Morrison's still scamming. Ha ha Davis, $12 million, something, something. He's like, what the fuck? Like, we only do boxing. Like, where did this come from? And why are you talking about Jay? So he went hard and commenting on it. Nobody responded back to his comment when he always responded to his other comments. King Coop chimed in about somebody else and something else. And so we spent 20 minutes talking about people talking about me. Both of me talking about building a multi $100 million operation in futures trading. But we spent 20 minutes talking about people that's talking about me, right? In a, in a boxing page, he's like, why? Why are you talking about the Big Brother Anonymous and the young men you just mentored, right? And all of that. I said, bro, because my name is clickbait. That gets them views. Mm. I guarantee if you go to views on that, on that page compared to the views in the other joints in four days, I guarantee you're going to see a whole different trajectory of, of, of comparison. I ain't even look. I can guarantee you, though. So then I just told them, because then Reg came in on our, our, our talk. I just told them, me and Reg just spent 20 minutes eating croissants and tuna fish. Talking about people in Atlanta, he was just in a business meeting with, talking about me. The first thing the barber dude said, I don't know the brother, but first thing the dude he was talking about, I never met him, but everybody don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> but got everything to say. Oh well, people invested this much, but they ain't. But he's so Reg hit him with the well, yo. He passed the SEC and FBI with flying colors. How do you say he's scamming? Well. People didn't really know what they were getting into. Bro, did you even get into it to know? Do you know that they signed the subscription agreement? Do you know that? I don't even care about defending that shit. Well, I was letting my brothers know and letting my supporters know and all of that. I'm like, six weeks ago, maybe even three weeks ago, six months ago, shit's bothering, bro. It's like gnats like on you. Like just gnats like constantly bothering you, right? Mm-hmm. You get you go through different emotions about it. It's kind of to the point I think you might have asked me earlier this week, or somebody asked me, because people are always talking about it to me. People that love me, that care about me, and support me are always asking me how I feel about it. How do you deal with it? How it is? Bro, how LeBron feel when they always talk about LeBron? Mm. Whether it's his shot, his hairline, his kids, his decision to this. How do Jay-Z feel when they talk about Jay-Z? Oh, you shouldn't do this with Kaepernick in the NFL. Oh, you did this, you did that, you did that. How do Kanye? Bro, they validate me. I feel great mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that a barbershop page on boxing got to mention my name. Now, It'd be great for all of us if they put my name in the proper context of the real work and light and energy I bring to culture. But the point is, bro, like they, they like, I'm relevant. Mind you, out of 15,000 Tulsa real estate fund partners, plus, we still have active, non-complaining, non-requesting redemption, over 14,000 partners. Over 90% retention of a whole fund in four years. He's talking about two of his subscribers said, I only got paid X, Y, Z on my money, which is a dividend payment, right, right, right. which we made as a four-year startup company. A dividend payment, that's the equivalent of dividend payments that Apple or some Fortune 100 companies are paying. But none of them got a black house. None of them have lent millions of dollars to black developers. None of them got 68% black women in leadership. None of them helped practice the largest active group economics in our community. And I'm not even saying our, our fund is like lit. We're not profitable. We're in the red. Right. I'm, I'm saying that. We're not a profitable fund right now. Yet, in our four-year startup through two years of a global pandemic, Nope, we ain't do that. So just say Jay's business is not successful yet. If you want to say that, if you want to be accurate, I can say that. The business is not successful. Well, it's not financially successful yet. We are mission successful for sure. So, but to say that I'm a scam is, um, is, is bait, man. Clickbait talk.